chat question so I can take a tech tip. So just wanted to cover on the Apple devices that's just been launched uh, that the new iOS 8 which has just come out on, on today which is the 17th of September I uh, just want to touch base before if you if your phone is full just some tips here if your Apple phone or your iPad is actually full of photographs and video and you've got nowhere to back them up so uh, and the update's not going to apply because it's it needs some storage space uh, it needs around about two two gig three gig maybe a little bit more for uh, if you're doing the the update directly from the device whether it's your iPad or your iPhone it needs an additional free space to bring bring the file down to, to launch itself and then install so it normally means d double amount so I think the iPad is at 908 meg so it's going to need double that amount of space I think the phone's about a gig, uh, just over a gig, so it's going to need a few, a few double the space in theory. Um, there's been lots of talks; it needs about four gig in total and so forth. But if you've got not not, not enough disk space uh, or, or you know storage space on your phone or your device, don't just start deleting stuff. Um, the safest way of doing it is plug your phone or your iPad directly into your PC or Mac where your iTunes where you synchronised it with iTunes. Plug it in there, synchronise and back your phone up through iTunes. Uh, when you've done that, then run the update from iTunes because uh, that way what it will do is it will download the file uh, onto the iTunes library and it will then directly install it directly to the phone so the phone won't re re require any uh, free disk space so everything's done through the PC or the Mac so that's the best, safest way to do it so don't delete anything or get rid of anything resync it with iTunes, uh, synchronize all your stuff so all your, all your iPad and your iPhone is up to date and then run the, uh, then run the update directly from there so that way it's the safest way of doing it. So uh, so don't have to delete anything. So I know a lot of people have deleted stuff and then uh, lost it, and uh, you know it's because of a bit of a problem. So uh, do it through iTunes. That is the safe safest way of doing it. Another thing has also been announced as well that the uh, iOS 8 um, update, which is the uh, another part of it, which is the uh, iCloud that used to be called, now it's called the iCloud Drive or or something similar to that. So if you, when your phone uh, or your iPad installs, it'll give you the option saying, would you like to upgrade your iCloud to the iCloud Drive? Um, if you've got a Mac um, or, or a Mac laptop, uh, just say no to it for the moment because it's not compatible with the current Mac OS. Um, until they release the new update for Mac, um, you can't sort of synchronize everything to your Mac uh, as it's as it suggested it, it, it should do. So I would hold back, I'll just ignore that for the moment and then I'll see when the time comes and the Mac uh, software is released, you can upgrade that. I don't think it's affected the PC, the PC users, it's only for Mac users that synchronize all their devices together. So as long as all your devices are running the latest iOS 8, they should work fine between, but, but obviously the um, laptop, Apple Mac laptop or, or your Apple Mac PC, you know, your, your, your Mac basically, it's it won't be compatible with what the current OS is at the moment, um, which is I think it's Ma Maverick. So you'll have to wait till they release the new the new one that's out, which hopefully should be out in the next few days or maybe a week or so, and then it's compatible. So for the moment, uh, if you've got a Mac, just just say no to the iCloud Drive upgrade. All right. But uh, looking at the prices on the iMac Up Drive, it's not bad. I'm actually look at upgrading my storage. I, I've currently stayed at five gig and use that haven't really used it much before. It's not a lot, five gig in theory for stuff. But only got loads of photographs and video. You know, everything's eaten and taken away. So, uh, but I've been looking at it on, on the UK pricing. About two ninety nine is going to give you about two hundred gigs um, of online storage. I think that's pretty good. And you can even go up to a terabyte. So you have a terabyte online storage for about around about fourteen pounds a month, which is quite reasonable. But for you know, if you've got a lot of storage, you want to do. So I may sign up myself up to a two ninety nine one. So two ninety nine is is enough. I spend a little more money in the iStore, so I should save myself some money, not to buy so many updates or games, and uh, use something more uh, useful. Anyway, I thought I'd try this um, new update out through my iPhone, which is on running on the iOS 8 with with a video. So we'll see how I edit and uh, put this together. Uh, so far, so good. It records quite nicely. So uh, until the next update, um, don't forget. Back up your device through your iTunes. Any updates you do with your, with your uh, I, Apple, uh, iPhone, or your Mac. Uh, sorry, not sorry. I should say again. Any updates you do through your phone or your iPad, always make sure you back it up to iTunes first. Okay, before you play any updates, just on the safe side, just as a general rule. And then don't delete anything off your phone. Do the upgrade through your iTunes. Much more safer. So, till next time. Um, 
oh don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel and also comment below if you have any um you've done any updates and it's caused any problems so put comment at the bottom there so we can all get to see what's what's going on and i'll comp compile a list and if there's anything you're not sure of i, I can get the uh, faqs for you and answer them and hopefully resolve some issues so again subscribe and please comment until next time bye